Hi, Liga Blue people. Je dois partir pour Luanda maintenant. It's my first time in Kinshasa and I'm really excited to get to know the city and the people. I think it's going to be fun. My name is Michaela Reis. Uh, I'm an actress and a TV host in Angola. I am from Angola. I was born and raised in Portugal, but then I moved to Angola when I was 17, and since then I've been living there. So, how did you end up uh, auditioning for Miss Angola? In fact? So, first, um, my mom, she was the one who told me about the audition for Miss Angola in Portugal. So she was the one who made the call and everything and then she was like, oh, you have, you, you should, because I was so shy. Yeah. So she thought it was a way for me to be in a different environment with different people since I was like on break from school. It was summer. Mm -hmm. So she went on and she did that and I went to the audition and I made it. I passed to the next phase <laughs> and, <laughs> and then I won Miss Angola in Portugal and I went to Angola for the Miss Angola pageant. Were you expecting this win? Or, you know, were you just surprised when you, you won, actually? Honestly, I was there just to have fun. Yeah. Like, because most of the girls, they were older than me. I was just 17. Um, and some of them had experience already with stage, mm -hmm. you know, um, with taking pictures, with walking with high heels, since I didn't have. Mm -hmm. So for me, I was like, mm, no, I'm not gonna win. Nothing's gonna <laughs> happen here. Let me just have some fun. Yeah. But it ended, ended up and I, I, I won the pageant. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> and um, what were some of the causes you defended while you were on the throne? While I was Miss Angola, my biggest cause was HIV. Um, so we used to do a, a lot of activities everywhere in the country uh, to speak about it. And it was great. I learned a lot and it was really good to be close to people, you know, and listen to their stories and help in the way that we could. So you went from crowned Miss to TV presenter exactly. and then actress. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. So <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about that, that transition, the experience, how did it feel? I was called for an audition at a national TV station, TV mm -hmm. Zimbu, back in 2008 mm -hmm. uh, to work as a TV host, a TV presenter. And then I was like, I never like to do anything without experience or at least like knowledge mm -hmm. to know what mm -hmm. I'm doing. So I was like, no, let me take some classes and see like if I like it, how it goes, if I have talent for this and I went and uh, took some classes I went to to London where I had some private lessons to work as a TV presenter and when I went back home they didn't have that spot anymore but another channel called me for an audition to work as an actress and I was like for a TV series I was like uh, okay uh, why not <laughs> let me try right <laughs> and they liked my audition and I stayed. So first I started working as an actress and then um, the, TV the TV presenter came, yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about the Windeck adventure mm -hmm. and especially about your role? Windeck was my second uh, experience as an actress. Mm -hmm. um, it was amazing. Like it was so much work because I was uh, the villain. So I had so much work, but it was a really great experience. I grew up a lot as a, an actress and as a person, as a professional, I would say, um, because it was tough, but it, I loved it. I loved every minute of it. Yeah. <laughs>